Hello and welcome back to Gary Plays Darkest Dungeon with the, the Duckfeed Memorial Dungeon Estate. My name is Gary Butterfield, and when I say Gary Plays Darkest Dungeon, that's the Gary I mean. Just in case you were wondering, uh, got a couple things going on here in the estate, and we're bringing out four new classes. Whoa. Uh, so big thing I have going on is upgrade the guild. The guild is now fully upgraded. It's going to be good. Over here in the sanitarium, we got people getting rid of stuff. Uh, largely from that last mission, but we also have some people uh, getting prepped to uh, to show up here in the future. Nobody here knew. We still have like a mushroom man and a Velstat showing up. Um, we're not going to activate the Crimson Court. We're doing a short apprentice mission because there's nothing else I really want. Um, we could go fight the logger. Um, I don't want to go fight another mod boss right now. I'm still sore after losing my Ghostbuster, uh, even though I did get a new Ghostbuster. Um, and I want to try out these new classes. And uh, at some point, there is like this weird upward mobility to Darkest Dungeon where you're constantly um, increasing your levels. Everything is getting higher and higher level. Um, you got to get your low level guys moved up. We could go now to the uh, the Darkest Dungeon here. Uh, we could do the Iron Crowns. That's a hard mission. We're not ready for that yet. So we're doing this. And we have four new classes. Are you kidding? Let's check them out. Up front. We got Jacob Hur, the werewolf. Uh, a flawed release. So not going to be super great at uh, at uh, range skills. Sorry about that slap. I'm trying to get Pocket to stop uh, being a jerk. Um, so my understanding... Blade Master is really good. Um, my understanding is that they have attacks. And they eventually will turn into a werewolf. And they have a percentage chance. And then they turn not into a werewolf. And that's kind of how they work. We're going to find out together. Um, I like this animation, though, on her. She looks cool. Um, I like that she's not a titty werewolf. Second position, keeping up our Dark Souls uh, nonsense. We got uh, the Seeker 13, who is a spider circumventer. That's a good uh, awkward phrasing. Going to be doing melee, but it has a couple interesting attacks. So this uh, this here, this Undying Rage is free. Uh, it costs him HP, but it doesn't cost an action. That's pretty cool. Also, uh, he can summon an immobile bone wall. I have no idea what that is. Um, and then uh, has Grim Reflection here, which gives him a heal, but marks him and gives him 50% damage reflection. That's pretty cool. Uh, spec for damage and crit, of course. Uh, pardon me for one second. Hey, Pocket. My dude. What is going on? Why are you fucking with the blind, son? Um, so we'll see what this guy's like. I'm curious. We're going to find out. Alchemist is hot off the presses. Uh, this is a brand new mod that is getting pretty good response. Uh, they are got him with the blood. Will I remember the blood? I don't know. I'm sick of making promises I can't keep. Um, and then also the flambeau. Pretty interesting. Um, has these two attacks here, which uh, one activates his repost, one is a blight attack, um, that make his infusion better, which is his heal, because we have kind of two minor healers, and then has summons a homunculus. Uh, can also summon a lab rat, which I'm really curious about. They both clear corpses, and they both have a cooldown. I'm going to try that lab rat probably as well uh, at some point here. And that also does a bleed. It does 66 minus damage mod, and then a bleed for two for three for the whole party, enemy party. That's a good skill. Um, Algernon must be the name of the rat. We got Druid. This is an old, uh, well-thought-of class I just missed when I was installing things. It's pretty basic. That's okay. I uh, got the Ancestor Scroll and the Ancestor's Map. Double Ancestor Action uh, as a support class. It's going to be Draining Life, uh, Healing, the Party, um, Shuffling the Enemy and Clearing their Corpses, and then Healing Us. Mostly going to be Healing, but they have a couple other things as well. Curing Blight and Bleed. Basically, an alternative healer is the idea there. Uh, this is new, this Flask of Agony. Used to gain immunity at death do Death's Door at the price of your sanity. So the Death Wraith is a real weird class is my understanding where like it uh is involved in doing weird shit like staying at death's door and like tempting fate uh there that if i'm being honest does not sound like my play style um but i'm gonna give it a fair shake because i think it you know because why not we're here to learn food torches shovel blood <laughs> I actually, one of the things I was thinking about doing um, this week was going and getting another one of those uh, blood vial things 
because I just carry one blood in the inventory and give multiple people that damage buff. And maybe it'll remind me. And that's a good ass trinket. And hey, pocket, 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 pocket. Come on, dude. Why? Why do you want to claw the, the blind? You have a million toys. You are full of toys, gentlemen. You must be protected at all costs. Do you understand? They breed quickly all right. down there in the dark. So everyone's got their oh, beginner stress. Them even um, everybody's looking pretty good, though, animation-wise. Got a scout right off the bat. We'll get to see who the trap uh, person is here right away. 60, 70, 70. It's the druid, kind of. Not great chances, actually. But he'll take it. Sure, one portrait. For a task well performed. Cool. Zero stress already on the druid. Love it. I'm very curious as to how these people play. It's a short dungeon. It's not going to be a very long episode. This might actually literally be the only battle. Um, if so, maybe we'll do another another short one. I don't know. I, I do want to get a, a feel for them. Um... I might have him do it at 70 just for a chance to get rid of the stress. Yeah. Um, I just didn't want to do one of the, you know, I didn't, this was the only apprentice thing I had available, which is a, a, a darkest dungeon concern. All right. So we got our alchemist going first. Decay, which is our blight. Our heal, our infusion, but homunculus. Wonder if I need to have a, a heal. I'll do a little damage. Oh, hey, homunculus. <laughs> oh, he can guard. He guards with a repost. Three rounds. Look at his face. And when I got him out, he went... <laughs> All right. Uh, healing mist. Uh, don't need... Drain life is probably my, my move here. Tremor Tremor is not bad. Shuffle everybody. Give them uh, less speed. Because I don't think this guy can do very much from the back. Let's earthquake him. Oh, it's okay. Somebody's got shuffle. That's fine. All right. Oh. <laughs> uh, the art on him is a little bit half-baked. Uh, smoke bomb. So clear marked target. Negative one HP. Uh, buff the target. So I do that on me. I don't want that. So it hurts them at the cost of doing that. Taunt is likely to become uh, transformed to be relatively. Get the repost. And then Bloodshed Claw. I think I want this. Should have used more armor, Sherry. <laughs> it's a Gambit class. Thanks, Humunculus. <laughs> Alright, and you. So you got this uh, you got a free action here. Right, isn't this the, the free action? So that should just cost HP, not a move. Cool. And then I can create the bone wall in exchange for... Uh, neat. Where did my homunculus go? It's got a block. It's immobilized. It's just fascinating, man. I, I uh, sincerely like think mods are really cool. <laughs> what is gonna happen? Oh, he has to maintain it. He's hurting too. Uh, what? It's grim reflection. That shit. Restoration mark. He's guarded by the wall. He buffs himself too. Damage reflection. That's rad. Um, I don't want to hit both of them. I guess I want to taunt. Uh, do, 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 do you got a werewolf? Nope. All right. Nope, hitting the bone wall. I don't know why the bone wall was guarding. Another one falls. Oh, the bone wall was guarding the whole party. That's rad. He uses eight. That's pretty cool. All right, then. That healed something over here. 
All right, you should probably concentrate on winning the battle and not just, like, geeking out over... Oh. Okay, he got to go again. Or that was the end of the round, I guess. Um, that bone wall is cool. All right, he's doing good now. There we go. Dark sword. It's interesting because you want the uh, the werewolf to turn to the werewolf. I'm sure it stresses everybody out like the uh, abomination. But not having control over it is really interesting. One step closer to the loot. Oh, hello. That's a good looking werewolf. Well done. Here, have a... <laughs> 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 I love him so much. He is my beautiful son. Look how he shrinks when he gets into that move. Let's see if healing, healing mist works on everybody. So I think the, the uh, it's not very much healing. It's a free action. I can probably do that because I got a restoration going on. It's going to buff his damage, but he's going to die. I like the werewolf to get a turn, though. But I have no other moves, so... I'm assuming I'm going to turn back into human here. Yeah. Interesting. Exceedingly interesting. Okay, I think I want to use... Uh, I think... This might get rid of negative quirk. I don't know. Might just heal stress. All right, flawed release is gone. I don't know if she has any uh, range skills, but we'll assume maybe. Sure. Have a bite. You earned it, weirdos. You earned it, Monster Squad. All right. Those swine zerkers, man. All right. Suffer 8 HP. That's significant. And he does not have very much health. Giving him HP trinkets would actually be really good. I think. Let's do the free attack for a little bit of damage. Because he is meant to be at death's door. And he's got, like, death blow 73%. He has more death blow resist. He hits really hard, too. I mean, I've got, I know I've got him. Good night, the death, the Dark Wraith's famous line. Good night, chosen undead. Uh-oh. Oh, she's pissed. All right, I want to see what the werewolf can do. And uh, I'm definitely, like, not going to turn down the opportunity to, like... Oh, I have to hit, though, to summon the homunculus. Ooh, baby. No, 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 no. I might take these guys out, like, right away. Arr. That de-stress is the werewolf. Um, I, I, okay. This probably is not going to kill him. Does that cost torchlight? Think. Um, we're gonna. I mean, we're doing this because I need to see the. I want to see the werewolf do something because I need to see the werewolf do something. Um. Sedated. All right. What are the werewolf's moves? Okay. Stressed out. Still has the bloodshed claws. He might turn back into human. A savage feast. I'm um, gonna hit everybody. Does did good damage forward. If something's not bleeding. He's not very strong against it. If it's an edible, less damage. Uh, kills corpses easily. Heals him. Catch rabies, 3% per target, and might turn to a human. Okay. Headbutt. Hey, pocket, please, my friend. Uh, headbutt. Moves him back. Damage is a stun. Might stress, de-stress himself. And then regain humanity does change him. So let's headbutt him. Did not get the de-stress, but did get the stun. That noise is coming through. That's Pocket's toy. That's Pocket's trick. He just... I don't know what's going on. He wants, like, attention. Um, which, you know, is okay. Um, it's attention, and it's... I've been going to bed earlier. I think he wants me to go to bed. So he wants to do that first because that's the bleed. And then once something's bleeding, he can want to, like, eat it. So this does do minus torch, actually. But it does extra damage per 10 darkness, which is a stat. It's a hyperlinked, but it's not showing up in, like, the the game dictionary. Um, there's, like, a, a thesaurus or, or whatever. Well, I 
had it right the first time. It's a dictionary. Um, there, there's a glossary. That's the word I was looking for. Um, there's a glossary in the game. And that does not show up in the, uh, the glossary. Okay. Spiders, spitters, whatevers, and bitters. Okay. Hey, have a homunculus. <laughs> so funny. It's a good summon, too. <laughs> I got Oh, I got to try that rat. I wonder if I have another fight. Don't stress out these people, because I might bring them right back out. If there's another short apprentice, that'll be a good episode. Um, let's do your free attack on you. Continually onslaught. Destroy. He definitely needs more HP. That's an interesting class. Taking the torchlight for nothing. Uh-oh. 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 I'm kind of surprised they didn't give, um, you know, a uh, an animation for that transformation. Liquify? <laughs> oh, he just goes away. The little boy is gone now. Ah, oh, it's so weird. His accuracy is not great either. Like, he's, he's a balanced character because he's got some real power, but, like, that HP is not strong. Um, we, of course, want this. All right. I mean, I don't really need to finish this out. Go into this room and see if I get a secret room, but it's early enough that if they give me another um, apprentice level dungeon... I can go do that. Why are you not giving me scouts? All right, we've got time for one more hunger check. Getting a little bit of a pay bay payday here, not pay bay. This is me. I'm the pay bay. <laughs> I'm pay baby. Um, fuck a book. I love the druid carrying around a root, like a little knife. Give me a secret room. It's not going to give me a secret room. All right, let's do this last fight. Okay. Anyway, I don't want to make this a huge, super long video. I'm going to bring this crew out again. They almost need to be um, if there's not room it won't bring anybody out. I should have you know, I should know that basically. But it is interesting. And the other thing cool about this free action, if I'm at death's door it always crits. That's interesting. I mean it crits not tons of damage on that thing. But it is still cool. Executed with impunity. It'll make a fine feast. Ah yes. The Dark Wraiths, always eating human beings. Stumble fools. Uh oh. She's mad. Sticky excretion. Spiger bite. As long as nobody. Like, the other reason, we'll take these people out again if we don't get, like, a Harangus. Negative quirk. Or like a disease or something. I don't really have like a minimum on these episodes I like to do. You know, 20 minutes does seem about as as small as I want them to go. But, you know, like I know people like, you know, watch these on their lunch breaks and stuff. So I don't want them to... You know, I don't. I don't want to underserve that population. Sure. Look at you, werewolf. It's like a less stress abomination, but not unbalanced because you don't control it. All right, let's go grab this one last little treat, and then we'll get out of here. Of course. All right. Good showing. Weirdly, 
At least for an apprentice level. Like a pretty well balanced party. Alright, what do we got? Give us good stuff. Unyielding is good. Meek doesn't matter for him. Gifted is fine. Hardy is great. Cool. We could bring these guys right back out. I'm only going to do it for like a short apprentice. Oh, hey, the ninja. I forgot I brought the ninja. This man knows how to make an entrance and how to leave politely, swift and silent. He has snuck into the hamlet to prove his talents. So I took in a ninja. He's arrogant, which I'm going to have to get rid of that. Uh, retreat is never an option. That's not going to work. Um, but yeah, there's a ninja. I took a ninja. Like how some people take a lover. Um, got ninja. Here's our here's our Vel stat. Got a Vel stat. Weak knees is actually fine, so Vel stat could go out soon. I gotta get names for these people, of course. Still not found the mushroom man. I think that's basically it. Um, they're already trinketed up too, which makes me want to go out. Um, ooh, formless flesh. Yipes, that's hard. Champion. Tome of Wrath for the Vestal. It's pretty cool. Turns her into like a damage character. Long Apprentice might be a lot. We might not do another one. I don't want this to last a billion years. The Abyssal Orb. Oh, it's an Abyss map. Ugh. Um, Acolyte of the Sun only. It's a lot going on there. Yeah, I, don't, I just want to do a short apprentice. So I'm going to cut this one short. I know that's maybe a little disappointing, but these people are a little stressed out. I would want to do a short apprentice and not a long apprentice. And I just don't have a short apprentice going on. Like even a medium apprentice might be like worth thinking about, but I don't want to do a long apprentice. I don't know their camping skills. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna call it, which means we're gonna do uh, MVPs here. Um, I don't know. I think the homunculus made me laugh a lot, so that's pretty good. And <laughs> Dark Rate's famous catchphrase: "I could use some time off." Um, anywho, thanks for watching. This was funny. This was fun. Uh, I had a good time with these weirdos. Looking forward to new. You know, we got two more weirdos to try out. I was hoping to get a. Uh, the the mushroom man because i think that's the last one i need or the last one i have coming because i could take the mushroom man out with um where are they at the uh the soothsayer here and try another just kind of like group of four which would be fun so maybe i'll wait until i get the mushroom man and here's ben too i mentioned there'd be a a ben too um Sickly is not great, actually, so we're going to try to get rid of that. So, anywho, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Sorry about the short episode. I just needed, uh, you know, my options are, are disappearing. You know, it's getting the, the areas are getting leveled up, man. It happens. Um, take care. I appreciate you. Bye.